Hi class, here's some guidance about this uh, melody assignment and also about the new version of Finale. If you just upgraded to Finale, some of your previous settings may, may not be present, so um, I will show you how to quickly set it up to be optimal for node input on a laptop, and then we'll do a little on the assignment. Okay, so you just downloaded the new version of Finale, 2014.5, um, and what you do is first thing is go to the, uh, open up a document, go to the um, Finale menu right here, go to Preferences, go to Save and Print, and make sure you have Auto Save checked, and every five minutes, ten minutes, whatever you want, so that way you'll never lose anything if your computer crashes, or you won't lose very much anyway. Then you go to Folders, and make sure you see where Auto Save is being saved. They're being saved in Documents, Finale Files, Backups. So then you're okay with that. Click out of there. Then you go over to um, you make sure your your main tool palette and simple entry palette are open. Then you can just click on a note to open up the simple entry menu, which is right here. Click on that, simple entry options. Uncheck those four. I think they're irritating and they don't you're not they're not really necessary. Then you go to edit keyboard shortcuts and you choose laptop shortcuts. It might be def the default shortcut table. You choose the laptop shortcut table. This is what allows you to do more efficient note entry and do use the numbers for the note durations. So you once it's on la laptop, you say OK. Then if you want to be able to use the function keys for intervals, you go to, this is optional, but I think it's very useful, you go to the Apple, System Preferences, Keyboard, and check this top square. And this allows you to use your function keys specifically for shortcuts and finale. Okay, when you've done all that, <clears throat> you'll be in a position to change note values with the numbers. The number three, for example, look at my cursor here, is um, 16th note. So I'm going to hit three, it changes to a 16th, four is an eighth, five is a quarter, six is a half note, seven is a whole note, and that's much faster. And then if I want to do intervals, I can put in a note and then with my F keys, I can do an interval. I hit F3, it makes a third. If I hit F4, it makes a fourth and so on. So that really saves time. Now, oops. Now we get to uh, an important thing to do. So that's how you set up your computer. Now now we get to, an, oh, I should say about audio too here. Let's go to audio. MIDI audio, um, <clears throat> if you're ever having trouble with getting sound, you can go to device, device setup, audio setup, and then click on, make sure that um, you have, um, your output is the way, you know, the way you want it to be. And then, uh, and you can test it, you know, by um, say test output, and you should hear a sound. And then um, for setting up instruments, if you want to do that, you go to Score Manager, and then uh, the Garrett instrument sound the best. You click there, choose Garrett, and click here for the specific instrument. And that's with the MIDI audio, it's through audio units. So there you go. So that's your setup. Okay, now for this assignment. Um, that involves a lot of cutting and pasting and some manipulation. So the first thing is we want to generate all our motivic uh, manipulations and, and uh, transformations. So we need to be able to copy just the notes and not anything else. And, and there is a good way to do this in Finale. It's called by using the filter. And the filter is under the edit menu. There it is. Go down here, and if you click that, you will. I I will deselect the filter, and if I click it again, I will choose it. And you ask, what is the filter? Well, if you go to edit filter, you'll see it's this. You can choose to copy any or all of these things, or none of them. If you want none, then you wouldn't copy anything, obviously. Um, sometimes it's best to um, go to uh, to this window and then just simply. Um, say none and then just pick what what you want so we just want to only copy the notes we don't want to copy anything else we don't want to copy any of these words or anything so you just click on notes and rest say okay and then you'll see that it's it automatically chooses the filter when you edit it so it's chosen these are some useful shortcuts in case you want to um, you know option command f turns it on and off option shift command f allows you to to uh, 
immediately get to the edit, editing the filter. So right now I've edited the filter so that it's just notes will be copied. So I hit escape to get to the selection tool. I, I do command C copy and then I just copy my um, uh, notes over to there and you can see that's the only thing that copied. And then <clears throat> I need to do my diatonic sequence one. Well, the easiest way to move notes when you're using the selection tool like this is with the numbers six and seven. Six moves the notes down one diatonic step and the number seven moves them up one diatonic step. So all I have to do is hit seven once and I've now created diatonic sequence one. Now if I copy that <clears throat> and paste here, I can just go up one more by hitting the number seven and I've created DS2. Now, if you always want to start with one, you could go here, copy it over here, and then hit the number seven three times to go up three steps. One, two, three and so on. <clears throat> Here it is again. One, two, three, four, etc. Okay. Now when you get to your diatonic inversion, then you have to actually manipulate things. So I'm going to copy my <clears throat> my original and then I'm going to create an inversion because um, I need to change the direction. So instead of going up a step, I'm going to go down a step and then instead of going down a step, I'm going up a step. So that's my inversion right there. And then I start doing my, you know, then I cut and paste that with the selection tool, copy, paste. And then DI1 goes up one step. Oops, that was wrong. Sorry, I should hit the number seven to go up. There we go. And so on. Then I do the same thing with retrograde. I create the retrograde and then I start, trans, you know, putting it to different scale degrees. And then I create... Just copy and paste and create my retrograde inversion and um, and then copy and paste to create my my uh, different you know the same idea at different pitch levels okay when that's all done then you start creating your melody and remember you first you want to have drawn a, a contour so if your contour is sort of upward and then downward then you want to pick manipulations that help you gradually work upward in your phrase and then move downward here. If you choose a shape that's down and then up, you do the opposite. Or maybe you'll choose one that goes down and up more quickly. So you just have to use these to create the contour that you wanted. And then of course manipulate them and change them a little bit by ear. And you need to change some accidentals so that the notes will fit with the chord of the moment. For example, when the uh, just say, for example, um, this motive was being used right here. Um, <clears throat> that B would not fit with the A flat major seven, so you have to use the chord scale that goes with the A flat major seven, um, <clears throat> and uh, which means you'd have to change that B to a B flat and so on, so that it would fit. So that's it in a nutshell. And then in the end, you can play this back, and in the end, you want to make choices, uh, you know, based also both on a combination of theory and your ear, and uh, try to get something that sounds as good as possible. Oh, one more shortcut you should know is that if the playback window is is off, here's the playback window. If it's off, you can select a measure by highlighting it and hit spacebar, click, and it will start at that measure. And if you also have the playback window off, you can move um, with option spacebar, you can move along at the rate of your cursor. So, By the way, there is a hidden drum layer, and the way you trigger that, you, if you don't want it, you just click on this highest level here. Actually, if you, want, if you hit higher in the staff, it won't play, and if you hit lower in the staff, it will play. If you want to reveal it, Command E shows it down there. And same here, um, higher. Oops, really high. Oops. No drums, lower. You'll hear the drums. I think there's drums there, maybe not. Maybe I didn't put drums. Yeah, I didn't put drums under that. Okay, but you can always copy and paste them over if you want drums. And that's it in a nutshell. Okay.